Yo, what's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. I'm really excited to share this data with you all. This is the first time that the Final Fantasy VII team has put together a list of the most used weapon in an event. They shared this in Twitter and I'm really excited to share this with you all. Now, I think this is useful for multiple reasons. First of all, I love learning from the community and I love learning what other people are using. The second thing is that these weapons are really useful and they will continue being useful in the future events. So really worth considering at least having ideas of what to pull next or where to invest on. Now let's review these weapons. In particular for this event, I will give you my opinion if I would have chosen these weapons or if there are perhaps better alternatives. Just because they are the most used weapons, that doesn't mean that they are the best weapons in this particular event. Now, starting from the first place, of course, Fairy Tail is one of the best weapons to bring to this event. There are no doubts about that one. Sedan Sword is the, <laughs> of course, it's like the best DPS weapon in the game. So if you have it, of course, you will benefit from that. But you don't need to have it to complete Sephiroth Crash. What I can say, and this is me guessing, I can tell you in three months, we are going to have better weapons than Sedan Sword. So don't worry if you don't have it, because this is a marathon and time will pass and we will see even better weapons. Also, it's important to know save your crystals because the future limited banners are key so pay attention to those more even more than the normal banners the third place is a interesting one and i think it's here because when sephiroth was released he came with edge wins now is this the best weapon to bring to this fight i would say this one is replaceable i think you have better alternative even sephiroth can bring dark harbinger which does aero which is wind damage um, which is really useful on the first phase when on the first sigil phase it's really useful to control the timing there and do as much damage as possible so definitely better alternatives even better perhaps to bring motor drive with tifa now the fourth place is murasame yes really good weapon for um cloud uh, Storm Wind is, is also good considering because of the defenses that it will give you and it was a free weapon for an event, so fantastic choice. Mythil Road is interesting. Now, I know why it's, it's there. It's there because it helps you healing. I mean, it gives you shield, like magical defense up and physical defense up. But I would say try to tweak your build so that instead of bringing these four ADB moves, Try to bring just a barrier materia and boost your magical defense so that you don't need to use either this weapon or bandage sword. If you can try, you will have a way better setup that can do way more damage and use the most out of your ATVs. I was really focused on these two weapons at the beginning and I have to say, my friend Tix showed me the light and now I'm not using them and I will show you my setup at the end of the video. Seven plate is Maritime Sword. Yes, I, I understand why it's here. It was one of the first banners. I think Apocalypse is a way better choice, also because it brings, it gives you uh, aero uh, potency, so it's really worth capitalizing on that, so that you get the most on the first sigil phase. Lifeguard Wraps is here because many people don't have a proper strong healer and they need an off healer. I understand that. It's a really good choice. Prince Rob is fantastic because it gives you HP and another win potency. Now, going into Crash 2, more people are using Bandage Shore and the same number of people are using Mythil Rod. I can tell you, I finally completed Sephiroth Crash 2 without using these weapons because you just need a barrier to boost your physical defense. Octo Slash is actually the most difficult thing to <laughs> survive. So yeah, I, I will encourage you to try to survive the fight without these two weapons. Now, of course, they are really worth having and I keep investing on them because I really want to have a decent bandage sword and a proper missile rod because maybe in future fights they will be needed. Let's see. I'm also now investing in my barrier materia because I only had one so-so one and I need better ones in because I learned that it might be worth it in the future and it will save you a 4 ATP move. Now Prince Roll, Murasame, we also talk about that and Garstick is here and I think 
this deserves a higher place. God stick is so so key and so important. So God stick has the highest heal our ability. So you can use God stick on your primary slot and then fairy tail on your secondary slot and you will have massive healing. Even using fairy tail as a secondary, that's fantastic thanks to the having God stick on the primary. The the boost that you have on your healing is really worth considering. Let's look at the sub weapon. Sub weapons, enemy launcher. Of course, we have been talking here about enemy launcher, Mad Minot, Killer Hornet. Those three weapons are fantastic. Hellhouse Collar and Hellhouse Cannon, they are free weapons from events. They will boost your defenses. Really worth considering. Uh, Gut Stick, of course, people are using that here on the fourth place. Yeah. I think it makes sense. Chocobo stuff is also really good. Sun Umbrella is uh, one of the best weapons to have if you are a magical DPS user. So, fantastic choice. And of course, Amaran's Claws. <laughs> of course, it's a limited one weapon. So, what can I say? Pumpkin Blaster, Heavy Hauser. Now, let me tell you some other weapons that I think are worth considering. Tranquilizer Gun from Lucia will boost your healing, uh, it will boost your ability potency. Mythil Type 0 or SP Re Rapier, they are also worth considering. Um, sub weapon for the Battle 2. Feather Scatter is the new addition and it boosts your physical defense. Really worth having. Uh, I, I love this weapon already. Killer Hornet, I'm so passionate with Killer Hornet. And now here we see Gutter Stick in the place that it deserves 45.78. Yes, absolutely. In Crash 2 you need all the heals that you can get and and look at that people are not using a um, tranquilizer gun but i think yeah they will benefit from that now let's look at this final data the final data is fast is clear one minute 50 seconds average clear eight minutes 42 this is for the solo battle by the way and the solo battle 2 is 441 and 942 i think i managed to complete my fight on five minutes and i'm going to show you quickly my my team so i use uh, sedan sword uh, apocalypse you don't need sedan sword but um you know, i also don't have it on level overboost 10 but it's of course syndra blade model one beautiful boost attack boost ability potency also really worth considering mad minute discovered there black whiskers it brings so much physical attack that it's worth it absolutely worth it the one i was mentioning tranquilizer gun uh, Prince Rob is covered there, HP, of course the Chocobo stuff, and I'm using in my main, what I was telling you, Guard Stick and then Fairy Tail. Then Motor Drive, I think is fantastic. I think Tifa, even without an Aero outfit, it does even more damage than Sephiroth if you have the Amaras Claws. Sub Weapon, because it also hits faster. Um, Sub Weapon, Killer Hornet, and all those two that we covered already. Enemy Launcher. And heavy hauser. So the thing I like about this one is that they are going to be useful forever. So that's why these are really good options to consider. And this is all that I wanted to share with you all. Thank you, team, for sharing the data. I hope that they are listening and that they do this more and more often. This is it for today. Thanks a lot for watching. I appreciate you. And if you like this type of content, please leave a comment, throw a like, give me some ideas. If I miss something, like would you use another weapon that we haven't mentioned here? Let us know so that we all can learn together and become better players until the next time cheerios bye bye thank you appreciate you bye bye cheers